that they respect and somebody that they know who has been there, not just as a different show, but as a different show, show with the show. Do it. Do it. Thank you all. Thank you all so very much uh, for being here. I want to thank all of my wonderful supporters and I want to thank the members of the media who are here. I have a prepared statement that I want to read and then I'll take any questions that, that may be out there. I have chosen today to officially announce my candidacy for Sheriff of Fulton County in the upcoming election in the year 2012. I sincerely believe that the time has come for a new and a stronger brand of leadership in the Fulton County Sheriff's Department. We need new leadership that will both earn and retain the respect and the admiration of the members of this Sheriff's Department. For I have discovered that high morale is actually what makes an organization function properly and efficiently. We need new leadership that will take a more knowledgeable and a more hands-on approach towards solving the serious problems that presently exist at the Fulton County Jail. The assaults, the weapons, the drugs, the contraband, people being held illegally, people released in error, inmates dying in the jail, overcrowding, costing the taxpayers millions of dollars every year. This jail was built under my administration, and I believe that together we can resolve all of the jail problems. We need new leadership that will restore a sense of pride, a sense of dignity, and a stronger work ethic to the members of the Fulton County Sheriff's Department. We need new leadership that will be accountable and be responsive to all of the citizens of Fulton County, and also to the members of our news media. People always have the right to know, not to be brushed away or not to be pushed off. We need new leadership that will eliminate all forms of bias and prejudice and favoritism and intimidation within the Sheriff's Department that will restore meaningful career paths for deputies and civilian employees that will abolish policies that threaten their job security that will establish fair and equitable systems of management and promotion and job placement. We need new leadership that will seriously evaluate the $100 million departmental budget for this department, reducing unreasonably high salaries, eliminating unnecessary positions and replacing them with deputy positions, identifying and eradicating wasteful and unethical spending in this department, and auditing all of the funds that fall under the sheriff's jurisdiction. We need new leadership. Leadership that will bring back the Fulton County Sheriff's Reserve. A reserve that was chosen one of the top and most respected reserve law enforcement agencies in the United States. A new reserve that I created in 1985. A reserve that saved Fulton County taxpayers $12 million a year in salaries and equipment. A reserve once at 400 officers who helped to staff our department. And now with only 30 or 40 people that are no longer functional to any significant level. Our reserve assisted 75 or more charities every year, participating in over 300 events annually. We need new leadership that will finalize a workable master security plan for this Fulton County Courthouse, a plan that will provide maximum security with a minimum of inconvenience for our employees and for our citizens. I started with the Fulton County Sheriff's Department in 1975, and I earned my way up to the ranks to the position of captain before I ran for and became sheriff of Fulton County. Under my previous administration, the Sheriff's Department realized many great achievements. Just to mention a few, we created a junior deputies program for all the middle schools where we mentored and encouraged young people to respect the law, to avoid drugs and violence, to have a plan for their lives. We utilized the task force 
that crack down on the sale and use of alcohol to minors. We patrol Willis Park and Chastain Park and Mosley Park and Azalea Park and other parks in Fulton County, cutting down on the use of alcohol in these public places. With undercover operations, we sided store owners who were selling alcohol to minors. We organized the first mandated training division that the Sheriff's Department ever had. We eliminated the criminal activity that was going on inside the Sheriff's Office when I first became Sheriff. We had no backlog in the service of warrants or civil papers during my administration. We upgraded the security in the courtrooms for our judges and our attorneys and our citizens. We served the citizens of Fulton County on half of what the budget presently is for this department and we did it without any loss of services. This need for new leadership in the Sheriff's Department has become a very critical issue over these past three years. So critical until it has brought me out of retirement and back into the streets and the neighborhoods of Fulton County to ask our citizens for their support again. And no matter how difficult this task might be, I sincerely believe that Fulton County is still worth it. My efforts and I believe that our citizens deserve to have a choice as to who their sheriff will be. I've lived here for 37 years, and Fulton County has been my only Georgia home. I'm running for office as hard as I know how. And if the citizens of Fulton County choose to elect me as their next sheriff, I will be most proud and honored to serve them again in every capacity come January 2013. Thank you all very much for coming, and God bless you. Yeah!